Okay, this is the last section 3.3 .3 of this chapter, and it deals with percentile ranking. And I'll keep it short and sweet and to the point. Percentile just means out of 100. Okay, and so by definition, all uh, percentile rank, it just uh, is something, a number that indicates the percentage of values of given data that are lower than the number given. All right, so what does that mean? Well, let's do an example, percentile ranking. Supposing we had a class that did a test, and uh, let's say the scores were, well, let's see, 50, 65, 75, 44, 78, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Let's move that page. Let's see, 85, 65, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do two more, 65, 75, and 90 again. Okay, so 10 students in the class, they got these marks on a test, student 1, 2, 3, up to student 10. And we wanted to find out what each individual, how each individual student ranked in the class in a percentile. Well, all a percentile ranking is, is the percentage of the number of students that got a test mark that was below what you got, okay? So if I wanted to calculate a percentile ranking, it's a very simple formula. The formula is PR, which stands for percentile ranking, is equal to B, and B stands for the number of scores or number of pieces of data that is below what you got or below the one we're testing divided by N, which is the total of the pieces of data that we are including multiplied by 100. So let's just, for example, take a test score of 85. Okay, let's just pick that one. Now, if I'm going to calculate the percentile ranking of my score or this score of 85 out of the other test scores and what how I ranked in the class, percentile ranking is just equal to the number of scores that were below 85. So let's go through 50 is 1, 65 is 2, 75 is 3, 44 is 4. 78 is 5, 65 is 6, 75 is 7. So there were seven scores below my this grade of 85, not mine, but I'll say this grade. And the total is out of 10 because there's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I multiply that by 100, that is equal to 70%. What does that 70% mean in terms of percentile ranking? It means that 70% of the other scores on that test were below, were below what this one was. Okay, so that means this mark of 85% on the test, or the 85 marks, or with number 85, was in the what we call the 70th percentile. 70th percentile ranking. Okay, so it's a very simple concept to understand. It's just B stands for the number of pieces of data that is below the one that you're testing. N is the total number of the pieces of data. It's a percentile ranking, so we multiply it by 100 and then we know what the ranking was. Okay, now where is this done? Well, babies that are born, they're ranked as a percentile um, when you're looking at their height and you're looking at their weight of when they were born. And there's millions of babies born and they've got a lot of data to compare, um, compare with when a child is born. And uh, the, when a child is born, they will be ranked a percentile ranking for their height and for their weight in comparison to millions of other babies that have been born. Um, I was lucky that uh, my four sons ranked 
uh, in the 90th percentile and higher um, compared with other kids that were born, other babies that were born, which means that 90% of all other babies that were born um, in Canada were smaller than they were. Okay, so my boys were born fairly large. Okay, so that's just one example of where percentile ranking is used. It's used in sports, percentile ranking, athletics. It's used in um, lots of other examples, but, you know, sports is probably the most common one for keeping statistics. So percentile ranking, uh, it's used by scouts uh, to assess talent, uh, to assess skill, um, uh, and, other, and other areas. Uh, but this is just one really quick example of calculating percentile ranking, okay?